Hello everyone, George here with Catholic Positive Energy. Nice to see everybody. Uh, I want to just apologize ahead of time. I'm sorry I didn't come on yesterday. I have a very busy life and a lot of things happen, you know, at the last minute. So I'm here now because I love you all and I'm very passionate about bringing some Catholic positive energy into your lives. I certainly hope everyone's had a real good week. So, anyways, the title of this broadcast is We Don't Meet People by Accident. People come into our lives for a reason. I posted this in the group yesterday, and I, I figured, you know, when I saw this, it had a lot of wonderful meaning. Here's something that comes to mind uh, I'm going to talk once again about my mentor. Some of you know her. her. She goes by the name of Author Holly. I just recently met her two years ago. This was on March 19th of 2019. And she has truly changed my life and continues to. Every time I meet her, every time I hear her talk on her broadcast, on her Facebook page, and she has truly inspired me just by spending time with me to be doing this myself. I obviously, I have a slightly different style than her. She, she is truly wonderful at everything she does. I'm not criticizing anything at all. You know, I don't like criticism. Uh, I just, you know, I like to talk about God a lot in the things I do here. And I welcome anyone else to do the same as long as we're doing it in a friendly manner, in a positive manner. I want to have unity among everybody. I obviously love talking about God and about the Catholic Church that Jesus Christ founded. And I also uh, like seeing when, when people post Bible verses that mean a lot of good things out of love and positive energy. But yes, I want to talk about when we meet people, especially the right people, it's not by accident. Certainly not. Like when I met my friend Holly, I knew this was not an accident. Now, obviously, I wish I would have met her years earlier, but here's one thing that I have learned through throughout my life experience so far. In order to be truly wise and to truly become someone who has the answers for someone, you know, who can brighten people's lives. We need to understand the good and the bad about life. Now, trust me, I do understand the bad. I really do. I've been through a lot of bad times in my life. Well, I guess that'll never stop. And uh, But now I certainly have more positive than negative. I have seen the good sides by meeting the mo some of the most positive people I've ever met in my life, and Holly being one of them. She has taught me even to see the good things out of the most terrible situations. Like, I just recently started grad school back in October. That was about five months ago now. Yeah. And I've often said, boy, I wish I would have done this much sooner in my life, but the timing just wasn't right. I wasn't able to balance that plus work and other parts of my life now I am the timing was just right and when I said to my dear friend Holly that I wish I would have started this sooner she said no don't do that don't play the regret game I've never heard anybody say that to me before and I'm sure I've mentioned this to you guys in a previous video but I may have only touched on it very briefly she's absolutely right the regret game, you know, here's something that a lot of people, including myself, often tend to say. I wish I would have done that sooner. Or I wish I would have never done this. Yeah, you're going to feel that way at times. I'm not saying it's wrong to feel that way. You will feel that way at times in your life. But when you speak like that publicly to people, uh, li like on a public setting, like, I never would, I wish I never did that, or I wish I would have started grad school sooner. That it al is also a negative way of thinking. Everything happens for a reason. Obviously, I was not able to 
uh, start grad school sooner than five months ago. But what happened, happened. And it happened for a reason. It all happened. I'm realizing now, I'm not fully there yet, but I, I already know it now, and I'm still going through that process. It happened within God's timing, not my timing. As, uh, let's see, I've got a friend here. Richard Yang Gao, nice to see you. Welcome. As it says in Isaiah chapter 55, verse 8, God says, For my ways are not always your ways. Yeah, God's ways are not our ways. And a lot of times we wish things would happen much sooner for us in our timing. That's not how things work. So everything does happen for a reason. I'm sure all of you would agree with that. And sometimes if we want to start something big and new and wonderful in our lives, like get married or start grad school or maybe go or, or something else along those lines, it happens in God's timing. And so I'm realizing that now. Don't play the regret game, please. Don't ever say, at least it's okay to feel this way, but don't say it especially publicly because this does give off some negative energy. I wish I would have done that sooner. You did it when you did it. It happened in God's timing, and, you, and, and it's better late than never. But the good thing is that you did it, you accomplished it, and it happened at the precise moment when it was meant to happen. Didn't happen for you sooner because it wasn't supposed to happen sooner. It happened now, it happened at that time, and that is all that matters. Don't play the regret game. One day I'm going to make a future video about that uh, regret feeling, and I know we'll have a lot of wonderful discussion there. So meeting some wonderful people in my life, like my dear friend Holly, continues to bring out the best in me every day. Everybody, every single one of us, we need to have some very wonderful, positive friends in our lives who will love us unconditionally, no matter what. Those are the friends who are not meant to be a chapter in your lives, but they're meant to be the whole book. They are for you. They are with you. Caring about each other. That's what we all really want and need deep down. I've had some friends in my life come and go. Some of them I didn't want. I wanted them to stay, but they didn't. Some I wanted to just discontinue talking to because it was meant to be that way, and they didn't. But there are some people in our lives who are meant to just be a chapter and not a whole book. But for the people who are there with us basically for a whole lifetime or for many, many years, which, which equals up to a lifetime almost, those are the good people who we need to love and cherish. Let me ask you guys some questions just to get you thinking, to use this train of, of logic invented by Aristotle. Have any of you guys ever met some people in your lives who you truly loved and truly had very wonderful thoughts about, very, very positive image about, and they've changed your lives for the better? Have you ever met people who you feel you were meant to meet them? And it, I'm not talking about a spouse. I'm talking about very dear friends. You know, have you ever felt like this magical, positive connection where you knew you were meant to meet them and they changed your lives for the better? You see, that's the whole point of, uh, of today's topic. Meeting someone who you were meant to meet and they changed your lives for the better. That's a truly wonderful feeling. And if any of you know what I'm talking about, please say so in the comments. I certainly have met at least one myself, and I'm, I really, truly cherish this very dear friend of mine, my dear friend Holly. If any of you have any good people like this in your lives. Hopefully I might be one of them, maybe. Well, most of you I haven't met in person. 
but please let me know. I like to, I don't want to be just talking at you guys like here in an asynchronistic manner. I, I'd like to be able to know that you guys have thoughts and I want you to share them with me, please. But yeah, these are, these are the most wonderful times in our lives because many of us, and trust me, I am very, very aware when we're out there in the world and we're working, whether we're working a job that we like or one that we may not like and we want to get to that dream job, we do end up having a lot of negative experiences. And there does tend to be more negative energy out there in the world than good. That's why I ha we have people like Holly and myself or even we had a wonderful human being and the late, great Mr. Rogers to brighten our days, to, sh to restore our faith in humanity. You see, a lot of us, and I trust me, I know because I go through this myself, a lot of us tend to have people we work with or people in our lives who don't treat us very well, and we wish that we could just, you know, not have them as a part of our lives. But we, unfortunately, we can't do that. You know, I w we often say, I wish I didn't have to deal with this person or these people anymore. And it just really ruins my day when I have to see them and, and interact with them. That brings about a lot of negative energy into our lives. We wish that we could feel that wonderful feeling about the friends who we cherish. We wish we could deal with people like that more than these coworkers or other people who give off a lot of negative energy to us. Yeah, wouldn't that be wonderful if you could feel loved positive and cherished by everybody you see on a daily basis oh boy that would be a perfect world wouldn't it do you do any of you feel that way about your lives you feel so pumped up and positive and wonderfully excited when you go to work or wherever it is you spend a lot of your time i don't know anybody who does i would like to meet someone who does and if you do Please, I'd like to hear all about your experiences. Maybe it'll make uh, even more positive impacts in my life. But yeah, we often have to deal with people or with certain situations that are unfortunate, like waiting in line for a long time for something important, uh, uh, you know, not having the most fun experiences when we have to get something important done. Causes a lot of negative energy. Trust me, I'm aware of that. We need to focus on the positive energy. I say this a lot in my videos. Focus on the positive energy. Don't dwell so much on things that make you unhappy. Like when you're driving on the road and somebody cuts you off or maybe in the, someone in the other car is behaving in a way you don't like and then you get all angry and bent out of shape out of it and you're still thinking about it right before you go to bed. Just move on. You know, don't focus on that. It's over. Yeah, we wish it would never happen. Yeah. It would be great if it didn't happen at all, but it happened. Same thing, I, like I said, don't play the regret game. I wish th that never happened. Okay, it's okay to feel that way, but don't dwell on it. People will often, you know, they won't always behave, uh, they won't always be well behaved for us when they're driving or when they're whatever. Just go about your day and know Here's something I saw recently, and I reposted this maybe in the page, probably within the last few days in the group. When someone is rude to you, they are showing you their true colors, and, and, and they're not showing you who you are. They're showing you who they are. So when someone is rude to you, you have nothing to be ashamed of. That person is showing you who they truly are. And it's their fault, not yours. Yeah, we obviously don't appreciate it and don't like it and don't react very well to it. But it happens. And we have nothing to be ashamed of. One day, if I ever... Uh, I, I'm still learning a lot about life. I'm not the foremost expert about life and positive energy. But like I say... 
I want to help create positive energy in the lives of those around me because I'm very well aware that there's a lot of negative energy out there and probably will be until the end of time. But we can always make the best of it, make the most of it, and bring positive energy out of it. So that's one thing I want you to take away from this. We always need to focus on all the people out there who care about us unconditionally, who are a part of our lives for the better. That's what makes me very happy, truly, and what makes me feel very blessed about my life. So the people who you meet, please feel free to share the, uh, your stories about those people here. I want you to comment on my uh, videos and other things, and please feel free to contact me, catholicpositiveenergy at gmail.com, or through the Facebook page, or through my uh, YouTube channel. Please share the YouTube channel with everybody. I've pinned it to the top of the Facebook group. We only have 13 subscribers. I'd like to see a lot, a lot bigger numbers there. So... I certainly hope you guys have, uh, have, have a lot of wonderful thoughts now going on in your minds now after hearing me talk. And uh, yeah, definitely would like to uh, hear more of your thoughts. Hopefully a lot of you watched this whole entire video. Please let me know because I've been growing my mustache out again. Please let me know if you'd like me to keep it or if you'd like me to get rid of it. Please let me know. So, thank you for being here with me. It's always a joy, and I'm very blessed to have each and every one of you here. There's no one in the world like you, and I like you just the way you are. Mr. Rogers often said that. So, thank you, guys. So, God bless you. Please uh, cherish those who you were meant to meet who made a positive impact in your lives. And please remember, dignification is better than criticism.